Hi, I'm Katie. Um, we're gonna make all these nice videos about like sewing, and we're gonna teach you how to sew. And um, look, we'll show you what our sewing machine looks like, so you know how to get him a sewing sewing machine or like what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Okay, now look at it. Um, there's all this different stuff. This is backwards. This is all the different kinds of sewing things. You can see like little turrets or zigzag or line, zigzag, line, zigzag, or just zigzag straight. Or you can do the normal sewing. And um, there can be two needles or one needle. And we'll also show you how to make it down like this. Look. And then you usually want to start with the needle down. And guess who the one, guess who the one who is who taught me? Bing, me. that's right. It's Sarah. <laughs> okay, here you go. Thanks, bye. Sewing with us. Please join us. Come on over here. Today I'm going to be making a drawstring bag that looks exactly like this, but different fabric and different yarn. Thinner yarn, actually. And you're asking who I'm making the drawstring bag for? I'm making it for my grandma, who lives in way out south in North Carolina, whatever. Um, so let's get going. So whenever you're making a drawstring bag, you need to, or anything actually, you need to turn it inside out. So first, we're going to make this like this, and we're going to fold it. And then, we're going to put it under, like uh, this. Hold on. We're going to fold it and then put it right under the presser foot. That's what I told you yesterday. It's called a presser foot. So, put the presser foot down. And you put the needle down, as I told you yesterday. And you press on the, um, whatever it's called, the pedal. Um, and then, look, you sew it, and you got to keep your fingers about a centimeter away each, okay? But you never, ever want to keep them like this because it could keep going and you could sew your finger if you've ever watched Molly. So now it's our turn to sew. Caution. If you're using pins, then as soon as you get near the presser foot, you want to take the pins out just in case they get stuck there. That would be bad. Yeah, good point, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Now, by the way, I'm Sarah. <laughs> Whatever. Or a half centimeter. Then you want to go back and make what about do you press you press this button over here it's like a ue but sideways so you press it and it goes back a little bit and then forward and then you're done with the rim that the string goes through when you go forward you let go of the button okay good now we just want to make sure this is going and it, you want it to be about past the end of the sewing machine, but not if you take this thing off, okay? And so you cut that after you're done with it, and then this is going to be what this string right here goes through just like that. See, it goes through that way, and then that makes it so it's actually a real drawstring bag, and you go, and then all your stuff stays in, okay? Now, see, that was not really good, but good enough. <laughs> okay, so now, remember what I said, you got to turn it inside out? So, first, we're going to turn it inside out like this. And you're going to make it about, like, pretty even, okay? And you're going to put it, just like I did, you're going to fold it, and then you're going to put the presser foot up so you can use it, and put the presser foot down again. And the needle down because you just kind of hard. What do you use that? to put the needle down? Um, there's a little knob over here, and um, you twist it to put the needle up, and you twist it the same way to put the needle down. There. Now it's time to sew the next part. So let's sew. Go straight line, remember? And you can, for beginners, if you're a beginner, then you can just go slowly like this. But you don't, you never want to go fast, like really fast. But that's, that's the fastest you should probably go. That, yeah. And you don't need to go back on this one, because all you have to do is reach your arm under here and put the presser foot up, turn it, put the presser foot down. And you have
have to put this like that's okay. And thanks, that's just my sister on the TV. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, our VBS. Now we need to cut this part because that's just a little scrap. Put press your foot up and put the needle up. Mm, press your foot. Okay. And put the needle up. And then you can undo it and you gotta cut it. You take your scissors. Yeah. So now also, when you do that without pressing the button to do back, you always want to tie a knot just to make sure that the thread doesn't come out and break. Okay, we don't really need to do that, do we? Okay. Yes, you do. What? Okay. <laughs> so then, as I told you, we got to do it inside out. So now you put it back the right way, and you push it through, and make sure the angles are pretty um good, and. Then, you take your string, I already pre-cut it because I'm smart, um, and you hook it on to, you, did you, if you have either um, uh, the can opener part of the can, or you can have um, like a safety pin. Um, so we put the yarn through the part, and you want to do it, on the sharp side, so you know, it, or you can either double knot it or one knot it. Today I'm gonna do a single knot, and you gotta bring it up here there. And then look, look at this. You gotta bring it like this, and hold on a second. Okay. Now you gotta tie it. Just a knot, I guess. Or you can. I'm gonna do a double knot today, <laughs> even though I said I was gonna do a single knot. Now, is it still recording? And then you fish it through on either side that you want. You gotta cut a little bit of it so it doesn't like it's not really tight. So let's see. You never want to cut toward yourself like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not safe. <gasps> Then she shouldn't be doing it. Oh, that's right, Sarah. That's good enough. So you fish it through here, like this, like this, and you fish it through. If you can. <laughs> then you want to fish the room. Oh, it's not working today. I wonder what's the matter with it. Well, we'll see if it works next time. But we're not going to stop now because you really want to see what it turns out at. Go. Go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I guess it wasn't working out when you were watching. But <laughs> now, since we're done threading it through, see, just like that, um, we need to cut it off the thing that it said was from, like, a beer bottle or something. Soda can. Soda can or whatever. To take this, take the two ends of the string that you just cut and top, double knot them. Maybe triple, maybe quadruple. Otherwise, just whatever works. <laughs> yeah, whatever works. Okay, so you keep tying. Now let's see if it comes under. One more tiny knot. There! That shouldn't come undone. And if it does, we can fix it, right? Alright. So long, drawstring bag. Have a nice time in North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. That was awesome. Oh, and I gotta show you something brand new. Look. Okay. Hold on. Come over here for a second. This is her new handkerchief. Oh, yeah. My friend made that for me. <laughs> Let's not forget it. Because my friend made it, and it's awesome. See, she went around a lot of times. That's called applique. Yep. And I forgot something. Oh, no, that friend. We'll see you now. All new on KGG. There's all new, so new, at 10 o'clock a.m. on Sunday, and Kick General on 9 o'clock p.m. on Monday. So new!